Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. Uh, <laughs> he's a whiskey sommelier. I am the, the Whiskey Mooch, and this is Evel, Evan Williams Limited Edition. Mm, well, yeah. how is it? We'll limited? see. Wait a minute, and then it's Texas on the side. Yeah, I'll, we'll explain it in a okay. second. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Limited to Evan Williams. This is like a Kentucky thing. Yeah. yeah so Evan Williams. Remember they say they're the first story in Kentucky because oh. Evan Williams was the first. But then there's some dispute about that. Okay. I don't think this is any different than just the generic black label Evan Williams. All right, I think it's the same whiskey. Let's see if Daniel is on his game because he just made a statement that demands to be compared to the Evan Williams black label. That's true. However, there's the white label. I'm going to give them a benefit of the doubt because that's the bottled and bond version. Right. So and the bottled and bond version, by our experience, wasn't dramatically different than the classic black. Do we have the black label? No. But we've got several other whiskeys to drink, too. <clears throat> that, that, that'll help. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> I could go get the black label. I, for, I was supposed to be up here next to the bottled and bond. Then when you started asking about it, I realized... That was one of the things that I forgot to do if, at 5 a.m. that's the most apt comparison, I think. Well, we'll see. Let's try the bottom of the month first. All right. Now, this is, they did a partnership with the with MLB, the baseball league. Major League Baseball. Yeah. And Sports. this is their Texas Rangers edition. Oh, the Rangers. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the Rangers had what kind of involvement? I None, they just, as far as I can tell. So, hey, people like your team. Let's put your, your team on a bottle. Team on a bottle. Yes, as far as I can tell, that's what's happening. Okay, I wonder if they dusted off uh, Ryan. Nolan Ryan? Nolan Ryan. Yeah. Hey, Nolan! <laughs> which one do these do you like? No, I just, just figured out which one he could throw the farthest. Yeah. <laughs> that would be... Dude, I'm telling you, that's the kind of sh that would absolutely. Yeah. So much people, so many people Which bourbon can Nolan Ryan throw, throw the, the farthest? farthest? And then, oh, that's the one. That's the one he gets the sponsorship. The, yes. It smells nice. Classic bourbon, Evan Williams, you know it. Yeah, it's just slight barrel spice. Kind of candy, caramel, brown sugar, sweeter. Yeah, less uh, sour, dusty corn. Yeah, I'm not. A little getting, more sugar. I, I was kind of braced for that, you know, that uh, sour, almost bitey, almost tannic, woody element in there. Doesn't really show up. No, You're just really left doesn't. with, you know, the honey, and then I'm getting what was that? Like a little brown sugar. Okay, you try this one first, and then I'll try it. Honey, brown sugar. This is the Evan Williams bottled in mind. There's enough oakiness there that you can get that wood flavor without it ever turning into a bitter or tannic. Yeah. <clears throat> now this? This is the bottled and bond version. Okay. Are these the same proof? No, one's 40, this one's 43. 43? That one's 50. The 50 smells like a lower proof. And it's got more vanilla on there. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, I would have guessed this. Damn it, I'm gonna have to go get the black one, aren't I? Yes, you are. You know what? There's more layers and flavors. On the white label? No. What? In the lower proof, Evan Williams, Ranger, Baseball, Nolan Ryan, Thrown, Whiskey. Wow. What about the black? The black smells closer to the white label bottle than mine. So it is different. Yeah, no, it's different. What the heck? Yeah, man, okay, all right. I'm suddenly curious about what the hell went into this thing because, you know, there's, there's got some character in there. All right, this is the last. Maybe Nolan Ryan. <laughs> you know those uh, those ice baths that they yeah. sit in. They just used that for the proofing water. They put this on the rock and said, <laughs> an old Nolan Ryan slip on in there. <laughs> there's a higher bitterness to the bottled and bond. This one's really simple, soft, and plain. This one still comes back with more. At a lower proof. What did the. That one's, I think, 40. 40, okay. Yeah, man. Wow. That's, uh. Well, damn. In terms of Evan Williams. Well done, Texas Rangers. That's not just a gimmick label slapped on something. It's a different, well, at least different from the black and the white label. You know what they say? One bottle, one Ranger. Mmm. <laughs> now, don't. <laughs> we are squarely right down home plate. See what I did? Mm -hmm. uh, bourbon flavors here. These are very classic. But the thing that's going to be different is um, there's a few more of those classic flavors. There's a little bit, little bit more character to those flavors. Yeah, we're really discussing like a 15% difference yeah. well, between those bourbons. 15 to 20, yeah. Uh, <sighs> we got the Jeremy Sims. Uh, I think at this point, reps get the better deal than Titans. I mean, there's a song. Well, it sounds like crickets, but 
Better than Titan, which I mean Chad could just do an animation of a trash panda adding a name to a blackboard as a placeholder. You know what? I think it's a pretty good placeholder. Chad, make it so. These guys, we've talked about them before. Remember it's the musician Jesse James Dupree and Michael Ballard that had a TV show called Full Throttle? Michael Ballard owns the bar at Sturgis called Full Throttle. <clears throat> All that matters is he's this? making the Tennessee whiskey, and these are both from Brandon Elliott. These new make? Brandon Elliott, you magnificent bastard. Fight. So... <clears throat> It's not all Tennessee. We call this Tennessee hooch, unaged corn whiskey. Okay. I'm guessing this is what becomes the Tennessee bourbon, but who really knows what these guys did? They don't say a lot about their whiskey. He did sort of revive an entire town in Trimble, trying to build businesses back into it and draw more tourist attraction and make it a destination. Okay. Right. I love smelling new make. I enjoy drinking whiskey more, but. The experience of smelling new make. Yeah. It just pulls back the curtain on where a lot of these aged whiskey flavors are coming from. It's almost spicy. You know what I'm getting on the nose? I'm getting a very unripe, unripe fruit. You know, you're biting fruit and the mm -hmm. character, they just, they're not developed. They're right, not, not ready yet. Green. But you can see, yeah, green and there's the, that, that fr green fruit. Mm hmm Green fruit, but you can see how it wants to become something. It's not, it's not quite there. And then this new make also has this layer of the smell of a uh, of a fresh laundry you know the cotton the cotton sheets and stuff that you throw on the laundry that, yeah i get that, that. Are apparently bad for your dryer but whatever yeah i get that <clears throat> okay hold on to that don't drink it all because we're going to come back and compare it okay so i'm going to tell you a story before i pour this that was surprising this is kind of funny to me 92 per 40 46 percent on that new make so if you research the tremble story Okay. So this dude with a kick-ass bar from I think he's from Tennessee, but comes back to Trimble, yeah. starts the distillery, wants to make whiskey. Yeah. Around the time he's doing all of that, they managed to pass a law defining Tennessee whiskey. Okay. Now this is very similar to what's trying to happen in Texas right now, which is let's try to get some guidelines about what is and what isn't Texas whiskey. Right. I think they overstepped slightly, but I understand why. They overstepped by defining Tennessee whiskey not just as whiskey made in Tennessee, which, but whiskey which, that which does it should be. Right. Yeah. But whiskey that uses the charcoal filtering process. That's the only uh, one that you can call Tennessee whiskey. Oh, uh, see. And that limits creativity and exploration. Right. We, and and we, rewards Jack Daniels and George Dickel. <laughs> see, I, I think we both kind of lean into this idea of, look, if you're going to claim a whiskey category <clears> as <throat> defined by a country or a state, then, you know, it should probably be made in, in that, that country or state. However, but within that country or state, my God, let them have the flexibility to make amazing stuff. Yeah, because you really handcuffed the sh** out of yeah. Tennessee whiskey makers oh my God. by the I can only being able to call charcoal filtering Tennessee. Now, on the other hand, yeah. point counterpoint, sure, sure, sure. on the other hand, it's the only whiskey in the U.S. that has a distinct style that is identified with that state whiskey. Right, so everyone knows the Tennessee whiskey, the Lincoln County process is charcoal filtering. Right. Unlike any other state in the U.S., Tennessee's the one that's famous for it. And so I get why they would have done that, right. but I also think it's limiting. Now, if you go research this distillery, yeah. he spent years in court and in newspapers and the public opinion fighting it. Okay. Right? And oh. went on record as like, screw you guys. And then they went on record as saying, screw you, the law says Tennessee whiskey, we already got it passed. And uh, you're free to make whatever you want. You just can't call it Tennessee whiskey. Ha uh ha. -huh. Right? right? <laughs> so eventually, those were all in 2015 or so. Yeah. Eventually, he, ex he evidently gave up. Okay. Because this is Tennessee whiskey. What and look what it says on the side. It's the law. Yeah. Tennesseans love their whiskey, so much so that they passed a law setting the standard on how to make Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee Code 572106. Manufactured in Tennessee, number one. Number two, made of a grain mixture that is at least 51% corn. Mm -hmm. Three, distilled no more than 160 proof or 80% alcohol by volume. Number four, aged in new charred oak barrels in Tennessee. And number five, uh, filtered through maple charcoal prior to aging. Yeah. Maple so charcoal. He owned. Right. He fought it for right. however long. Right. But when he eventually gave up, right. he just put it on the bottle. Right. <laughs> and I, I, you got to respect that. Right. If uh, can't beat him, join him. You can smell, then I feel like 
These are tied. I feel like. Okay. So, let me, wait, wait, wait. Tied in what way? In that base aged. I'm catching this in this. This? Okay. This is jumping out of the glass for me. Yeah. This, to me, so, dude. I haven't tasted it yet. I've smelled it. This, to me, on the <clears throat> smell, I'm somewhat concerned that the charcoal filtering... No, no, they would have had to have done that with... Oh, actually, they didn't call us whiskey, so it would have been fine to you not don't, do you that. Think, 46. I don't know if the charcoal filtered this. They may or may not have, and this is 40. I don't I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that... Well, this is lower proof, for one. Oh, lower proof. Okay, all right, here we go. Because I was about to say, man, the carbon in that charcoal filtering, it may have stripped out a lot of the flavors, but... Oh, it's a, definitely more simple in the taste than I would have expected from adding the wood characteristics. So, some brown sugar and some cinnamon. That's drinkable. It's very lovely brown sugar and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, <clears throat> I, I would have expected, based on the new make, there to be more flavors in that finished whiskey. The flavors that are there are nice. They're very nice. The finish, I'm not sure if you're getting the finish, but that stays with you and it's really nice. It's it has like a, a hint. Apple fruity, and I want to say a strawberry, but that's, that's silly. It's silly to say a strawberry. I'm not saying a strawberry. Definitely the apple and the honey and the cinnamon in there. It has sugar. a hint yeah. uh, of immune boost. Uh, this is not filtered, I take it. That is no, it's cloudy. Definitely not. I love the cloudy. A hint of immune boost yeah. at the end. You say immune boost, he's, he's, he's saying <clears throat> immune boost. I'm not really sure where that came from. It's that little powdery thing you put in a beverage in order to help boost your immune system. I don't I don't get sick. You you're just dirtier than me. <laughs> Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> no, we haven't done comments. Oh. We are okay. talking well first of all, before we get to this, we're talking about how dirty you are. Oh. It's like I've never mentioned it before. I'm so tired. But <laughs> for me to accurately pick apart the nose <laughs> on any whiskey oh. and stand next to this garbage pile. Uh, here's fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> fight me, fight for friends. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. <laughs> and if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.